they worshiped a god of rebirth named Kepri. Their god was depicted as a man with a beetle on his head. Let me, let me show you a picture of Kepri. Uh, Kepri is, uh, this is another one of the pictures of their, their, their god, and he has a beetle or a flying insect on his head. He was the god of rebirth. They worshiped the, the god of, of rebirth with a beetle. This is not just a battle between Pharaoh and God. That, that's an easy battle. This is a battle between God and all the false gods. As God is saying, I am the Lord and your gods are nothing. Now we look at this and it, it's, it's just silly because, man, it looks like a, a, a cartoon characters. These gods, don't they? I mean, they look like cartoon characters. I mean, they worship these things. How silly is that? I mean, look at that. Boy, they are so uneducated. I mean, they're worshiping gods that kids have drawn with crayons. Well, let me tell you something. As silly as their gods look to you, your gods look to people all over the world. When you worship money, possession, position, when you worship people, Man, people think it is so silly for you to worship another person. I mean, your gods, look, anything that you worship that's not God looks so silly because it is so silly. Whether it's a cartoon caricature looking thing or whether it's a piece of hunk of metal sitting in your driveway or a, or a name tag on a corner office. Everything worship that's not God is silly. And so this is not a, a, a battle between God and Pharaoh. God is proving he's taken on all the gods of Egypt. And it's, and it's a rout. It's like watching the Super Bowl and it's 50 to nothing at the first quarter and man, it ain't no letting up, right? I mean, it is a rout because God has no rivals. God has no limits. Now, another way we see God's sovereignty is the fact that he uses frogs. He uses small things like frogs, flies, mosquitoes to bring down the most powerful country in the world. Frogs, flies, and mosquitoes to bring, I mean, we're not talking about missiles. We're not talking about an army. We're not talking about ground troops, tanks. We're talking about frogs, flies, and mosquitoes bring down the most powerful nation in the world. God said, I'm gonna choose the weakest things you can imagine by themselves and destroy you just to prove I have no limits. 